When home is 10 miles from the nearest DIY shop, self-sufficiency becomes a way of life. Last year, more farm workers were killed after falling from farm buildings than in accidents involving agricultural machinery. Today, Helimed 99's airborne over the rolling fields of East Yorkshire to a worker who's had a serious fall. Sustained some leg injuries, possibly pelvic injuries, and also got a wound to his head. Um, it's quite a substantial distance to fall, and for all that energy to be transferred through his legs, something's got to give, and it looks like that his right leg and possibly his pelvis may be fractured. Charles Nendick slipped while doing some roofing and landed on a concrete floor. The ground ambulance crew called in the helicopter because the accident happened a long drive from the nearest a and &E unit. This gentleman fell approximately 25 feet through a roof, an asbestos roof, and landed on his heels, um, then obviously onto the concrete. Charles's workmates are stunned. We were just both working together and one minute was there, next minute one. Charles is in pain and may need surgery. Uh, as far as I can make out, he's possibly injured his pelvis, possibly his right femur. Uh, he has a head injury as well. Charles has been given morphine, but the Helimed crew are used to needing fewer painkillers when they're working out in the country. These farming people tend to be quite tough, and uh, I don't think there's any exception to that rule because his pain's reduced and he's not complaining, so I've not given him any further. I don't want to mask anything for when we get to hospital. Within a few minutes of leaving a field next to the building where he fell, Charles is arriving at Hull Royal Infirmary's trauma centre. And I'm glad to say that all three of our farming patients are all on the mend. Now, let's catch up on that tense...